This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Full Sail University. Hello, Internet, and welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo, the show where you can ask me, Ashley Eskeva, any question you might have from the wide world of technology. Every Tuesday, we put up a call for questions on technobuffalo.com. You can leave your question in the post comments. Otherwise, you can send them to me any time of the day or night on Twitter at TechnoBuffalo or at Ashley Eskeva. Just use the hashtag AskTheB so I can see it. Usually, I answer between three and five questions every episode, so let's get answering, because this is Ask the Buffalo. At Kelly Banks 97 says, Hey Ashley, do you think that the iPad Air was called Air because Apple is planning a larger iPad Pro? This is an awesome question, because really it kind of leads us to some even bigger speculation. So I think that that's a really good idea. I think that this is a potential for an iPad Pro, that 13-inch iPad that we're sort of hearing rumors about that might be unveiled sometime in the spring. Now, let's move a little forward with that. Let's get even crazier. And let's say maybe Apple is planning to rename their iPhone line. So maybe this five or six inch iPhone that is being planned, let's say a five inch iPhone, will be the iPhone Pro, and then maybe they'll unveil an iPhone Air next year. And we won't actually see an iPhone 6C. That's certainly possible. And certainly something that would be very interesting to see Apple sort of streamline their product lineup, um, at least the naming of them. So I think that that's a really good question. I think you're onto something. At Starbull89 says, I have a G4 sidekick and want to upgrade. What is a good gaming Android phone to upgrade to or wait for? Okay, so I thought a lot about this and I think that obviously with gaming, you're going to want a bigger screen. So you're also going to want a lot of RAM because you're going to want to run the best games. So if you have an upgrade available, I would probably go with a Nexus 5 or a Note 3. I usually don't recommend the Note 3 like off the top of my head to people, but for what you're looking for, I would say it has a lot of power. It's a great device. The screen is huge, and I think you'll get a lot out of it for gaming. So actually, I'm really curious as to what you end up doing. So let me know what you end up doing and what you end up upgrading to, because I'd love to know uh, how you are enjoying your new phone and what you decided to go with. Mindagas Dobolus, and hopefully I pronounced that right, says, Hi, are you Techno Buffalo? We'll make console wars again with PS4 and Xbox One. Well, I cannot confirm nor deny the existence of a next-gen console wars. However, if there was to be a next-gen console wars with LP, it would probably be announced right on this channel. So you should subscribe to our YouTube channel to make sure that if there was, which hypothetically, it, there might not be, a new console wars, it would be announced and you would get the notification. That's all I'm saying, hypothetically speaking. Mitch asks, hey Ashley, do you think a smartwatch will be a thing that stays or just a fad that will quickly die? I think that some features on smartwatches can be fads. For example, I really think that having a camera on your watch is a really silly thing. I don't think that it's really useful, especially at the speed that smartwatches are at right now. So the Galaxy Gear, the, the camera on there wasn't very good and it just kind of was grainy. The pictures weren't very good. It took a while to like take a picture. Shutter speed was slow. So, but I do think that the watch is really a timeless accessory, no pun intended, that people really enjoy wearing. And it is a fashion statement above other things sometimes. <laughs> Some people say, I want to be fashionable, so I will wear this watch. But I do think that over time, we're still going to see smart watches, but I think that they'll just keep evolving and we'll see some features removed like cameras and we'll see some features added that maybe we haven't even thought of at this point. So it's for me, I like I, I don't think smart watches are a fad. I just think that's the future of the watch in general. But I also think that there are some features that are a little bloated. I got to interrupt the show really quickly and give a shout out to our sponsor, Full Sail University. Obviously, apps are huge. You guys, they're everywhere. And we've all had those ideas that make you say, I should make this an app. Full Sail University's online mobile development bachelor's degree program can teach you how to make that app from concept to post launch marketing. And even better, you do the whole thing from the comfort of your own home via Full Sail's online education platform. With Full Sail's mobile dev program, you learn both sides of app development for iOS and Android. Create your app with advanced programming languages and then launch and manage the business of your app once it's complete. 
But Ashley, you say, I don't have a good enough computer to run lines of advanced code and I can't afford a bunch of cell phones and expensive software. That's totally okay because Full Sail's Project Launchbox program gives students a MacBook Pro preloaded with industry software plus iOS and Android devices so you can test your app. So if you're ready to make that killer app and you're interested in learning more about Full Sail's online degree program, head over to fullsail.edu slash technobuffalo. That's it for this week's Ask the Buffalo. Thank you so much for watching. Give the show a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because we appreciate that. And check us out at technobuffalo.com for all the latest and greatest tech news. Until next week, I'm Ashley Skeva. See you guys next time. Hey guys, Ashley here. Just wanted to let you know that if you liked what you just saw, we've got two other shows that go live every single week. Redinger's Rants, where John totally goes nuts about issues that bug him across consumer technology and Rumor Roundup, where he tells you all about the best rumors in the world of tech. So click the text below that says subscribe. And if you want to check out either of those shows, click right over here. See you next time. Thanks for watching.